Hi. Good morning, everyone. It's so nice to have a great sunny day in Cleveland, although it's still a little cold out there. So I'd like to welcome you to Case Western Reserve's symposium, Geographic Information Systems, GIS, Sustaining the Future and Understanding the Past. I'm Lynn Singer, Deputy Provost and Vice President for Academic Programs at CASE, and I've also been chair for the last couple of years of the university's Pandemic Planning Committee, so I really know how important uh, the work that you all do is in regard to understanding diseases and planning for uh, the prevention, both the prevention of diseases and dealing with them when they occur. Uh, so we have just completed our report, not Totally, it hasn't totally been approved yet, but you'll be seeing bits and pieces, and you can go on our website if you want to see some of it. So this symposium topic is really timely for all of us. The third biennial GIS symposium, which celebrates the Kelvin Smith Library Center for Statistics and Geospatial Data, highlights GIS as a tool for understanding and responding to complex ecosystem changes that may adversely affect public health. The symposium is framed with the consideration of the essential issues associated with repurposing and curating the GIS data. The symposium topics indicate the wide range of possibilities and opportunities offered by spatial technologies to examine the environmental risk factors and their likely impact on health outcomes. Our speakers today will address matters such as, one, the use of GIS to understand environmental factors in disease causation. Two, GIS as an important tool for evaluation of policies at the intersection of environment, public health, and development issues. And also will give us lessons to be learned from past health crises, such as how important ethnicity, cultural space was in the diffusion of the 1918 influenza pandemic or the 1878 yellow fever epidemic of New Orleans. I hope that you will enjoy the topics today and that we'll all learn much that will also be relevant for us as we continue to plan. One of the things I've learned when I took on the pandemic committee, and Irina Kennelly is uh, from the School of Nursing is also on our committee and is here today. Uh, I kind of thought it would be like a three-month committee, you know, and we'd figure out what to do and make the plans, but it turns out that it's like an eternal committee. It never, never ends and it's constantly changing and uh, it's really actually very exciting to understand what we're beginning to see in terms of our interactions with the environment, that we're just, you know, these kinds of cells responding to the environment around us. And as we can quantify all of these things, we can really learn a lot about how to prevent and intervene with these diseases. So welcome. I, I hope you enjoy your day today, and I, we're on with the program. 